Greetings there, my fellow upstarts. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord Lords of the Forest. Episode 62, Siege of the West. I think this is actually the first case where my vassals are forming an army on their own. Which is super cool. Right? They're taking the initiative, which is, I just love it. Because up until now, I've kind of been the only one doing anything, and it's kind of a lot of responsibility to be the only one doing anything constantly. Alright, no one in this tavern. And... Oh, I am the Butterlord. I find it hilarious that there's an achievement called Butterlord for, like, having a hundred butter or something. I forget what it is exactly. That's hilarious. There can only be one Butterlord in this here land. And luckily, the last group of mountain bandits was actually over here. Also, like, tons of my vassals hanging out around here too. And uh, I could just disband them. That works. Alright, a conspiracy war party is now patrolling around Roa. So that is the last step of this. And then we can get back to War with the West. Which... Is neat that there's an army that is able to act independent of my direct orders. Uh, Rebecca attacked a party. Where is Rebecca? Huh, I don't know. Maybe he was near Hurtigia or something. It was somewhere around there. No, oh, and um, he took prisoners. Awesome. All right, come on, conspiracy. Where are you? It said Roval, right? I, I'm not... Hunt the Conspiracy War Party. They're patrolling around Roval. Okay. Are they on the north side? They're, like, you can't get up there. I'm gonna check around Deriot, just to make sure they're not, like, up northeast of Roval. Because one of the problems that you commonly find is, like, cities that are built into the mountain, you can be near Roval and be, like, totally on the wrong side of things. Which I think is the case here. No, they're not up there. I don't know where they are. Boop. So what is Sude doing? I think he's running interference or defense. Oh, Draconia is with child. She is my sister-in-law? Yes. And she's pregnant. Just keep expanding the family. I'm not complaining. Well, it would be awesome if the patrol army of conspiracy soldiers would, like, show itself so I could get back to dominating West Empire. Because this is pretty dumb. That I have, like, a mission to be here. Oh, there they are. Party G Castle's under siege, and Verbeck just got captured by the leader of West Empire. Well, that sucks. All because I'm busy hunting the conspiracy. Warrior culture! Well, I'll take out my frustration about that on these here enemies. Six hundred and eight. Uh, yeah. See, I just cut him in half. It's pretty reckless to do, like, a full charge like that, but it's hilarious when it connects in my favor. I mean, anything really over, like, 200 is a kill. Even 150, I would say, is usually a kill. So it's completely unnecessary to 
overkill them by like four times of their possible health. But it's awesome, and I will continue to do it at any at every chance. We didn't lose anyone. Yeah, that was a full sweep. Ooh, and they gave me well, that's a pretty crappy tier six armor. Holy moly. That armor tier should not be six. That should be like four. I wonder if it sells like a six. So here we go. Raiders are dead. And I'm gonna try to get her to the Herdigia Castle before it goes down. It looks like Sude the Falcon's party is gone, so my guess is the West Empire rallied like a pretty significant force to roll. And uh and because I was absent on a dumb errand, uh Sude the Falcon's army went down. What is the conspiracy plans now? So it's gone up. It's it, I mean, it keeps going up. Essentially, it is constantly going up, and it goes up more if you don't counter their um, their things. So it seems I'm holding them to about seventeen hundred. Okay, so Brody, big Brody, needs some guidance. Let's do that. Big Brody is now old enough to play independently with the other children of the estate. You are particularly struck by how he takes charge, which would be social and leadership, never tires out, which would be endurance and athletics, uh, always hits his mark, which would be control and throwing. He's fascinated by riddles, which would be engineering intelligence, uh, wins wrestling matches, vigor and two-handed, or avoids chores, which would be cunning and roguery. Um... At the moment, he has some points in control, endurance, cunning, and intelligence. Um, so, again, number one is social, two is endurance, three is control, four is intelligence, five is vigor, and six is cunning. Give me just like one more minute to sort that out. There seems to be, like, a massive tie brewing here. Y'all can't really decide, can you? That's okay, I can always, always pick. Alright. I'm gonna go with... One? I guess? One or four? I'm gonna go with one. I'll be the, I'll be the tiebreaker. Because I don't really need an engineer, so I'll go with, um, leadership social. All right, second one, second choice. Big Brody spends time by himself uh, and frequently is caring for horses, which would be horse shooting targets, archery, trucking around nearby hills, which would be scouting, making his own toys, which would be smithing. Don't pick that. Don't pick four. Uh, fighting mock battles would be one-handed, and playing board games would be tactics. Um, five would be pretty handy for sword board or... Two would be pretty handy for bow. And caring for horses wouldn't be bad either. Riding skill is definitely helpful. A horse! Thank you for the resub! The one year mark, too. Alright, looks like uh, mock battles it is. His tutors are remarking how he has endurance. There we go. So, social. Focus for one-handed and endurance. Good. So, I think we owned Garcegos and it was captured, is that correct? Yes, we lost it. Okay, so there's some ground to regain here. I guess I could have also just checked... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. I was wrong. That was in, like, a past war. Because they, we have not captured any castles or towns. But they have a lot of my prisoners, so I'm about to shed some blood for them. And as I'm running over, I'm going to check into Legata, see if there's any companions there.
taking a look at my other vassals. Hmm. Not huge armies, but I can call upon them if I see like a thousand stack or something like that. Oh, I don't know what I hit. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's two individual armies. Uh, attacking Herdigy Castle. Herdigy Castle is about to fall, so I'm just going to jump in. We're outnumbered like almost two to one, but you know, that's fine. I ain't, I ain't worried. Yeah! Infantry! Faust! Arms infantry! Form a shield wall! Alright, let's try to hold a good hill. For the oh, arrow dominance. Arrows! Actually, I'll just put them Move in the field. Up, man. Four soldiers! Warriors! After me! So it looks like they mostly have what? Footmen? Spearmen? You really want to chase me? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I warned you. I warned you that I, I love taking banners. And if you hold a banner, I am sure to try to murder you. Out of my way, there's someone new with a banner. Bye bye. Alright, well, they're stupid, and they're marching their, like, infantry straight at all my Fions. So, that's gonna be disgusting. My Fions are just opening up. So I'll try to counter some of their cataphracts, because they do have a sizable cataphract on me. Oh, that, that's a lord. Get over here. Oh, and there's another one. There's another one. I'm surrounded by enemy lords. Smells like crap over here, that's why. You know they're enemy lords because they crap themselves when they see me. There goes one. Here's another. Who's relying on a shield. Oh, nope, they're gone. I don't see any others in that giant grouping. There was one. Oh, I missed and hit the cataphract. What's funny is like, okay, so yes, the companions that were following me around like came and were kind of sacrificed, but I kept their entire column of horses. Oh, you're a level too. Bye bye. Uh, off of my troops for that entire duration. Oh, you're another one. Is this what, Noel number four? Yo, get over here. Oh, you hit a tree. You're dead. You're so dead. Bye. This idiot picked up a flag. Tell my troops to uh, charge so they can close the distance and start shredding these guys. Another flag bear. Bye. Are they fleeing with this many? That would be hilarious. Oh, you turned around, you bastard. It's gonna cut you in half. There we go. Leave the flag alone. Don't pick it up. Or you die. I'm a little low on health, but that's not gonna slow me down much. Plus, my peons are, like, completely advancing.
Some of these, like, mounted speed damage is quite high. I'm getting a lot of, like, 400s whizzing by these guys. Which is a lovely number to see. I kill you, and half your lineage in one swing. I can't tell whether they're, like, re Okay, they were fleeing. Not bad. I think we got some prisoners. What do you guys think? Alright, there are some troops. Uh, any of them I want? Mm, one champion. And then prisoners sorted high to low. There is way more prisoners than I have capacity for, which is not surprising given the number of people I just cut down. And also they fled, so I took a ton of them prisoner as they were fleeing. But yeah, our prisoner capacity is maxed. Goggled cataphragm? I want to see what this looks like. That's goggles? If you say so. I don't think that looks goggled, but sure. That's a pretty good one-hander. Oh, come on, get him. Ah, you got away. So, Herdage Castle is now defended. Uh, let's take a look. Diplomacy. Casualties inflicted. That looks more right. Uh, prisoners, that looks way more right. So where is Verbeck being held? In Rote? And then there's some being held in Gersego's castle. So let's go to Rote first. Let's free our, uh, brother. I know I'm faster in the forest, but he's about to get, uh, ganked by a Yom. I don't really need help. Much. Oh, come on. Ooh, nice. We have, uh, more vassals taking initiative. I like it. Oh, right, I leveled up. Uh, how to spend my focus point? So I could either do Vigor. So this is a focus point, not an uh, attribute point. So if I picked Vigor, it would be... Either in one-handed, two-handed, or polearm, like, all of them would be pretty legit. Uh, if it was in control, I would put it in bow. If it's in endurance, I would put it in, uh, athletics. If it's in cunning, I'd do roguery, I guess. Social would be charm. And then intellect would be engineering. I'll have you guys vote on that. Now, GMT also leveled up in writing and give you. So GMT is always going to just be party member. So personal is probably all that matters here. So mounted melee damage or mounted ranged. I'll do the ranged or Sarcher. Rote has uh, quite a lot of defenders. So maybe I'll go to Gersigo's first. Unless there's people to rally. Yeah, let's do that. Attack Rote, but uh, bring a whole bunch of backup. And they should be here, hopefully, by the time we are sieging the camp. Hopefully. Another reason to attack Rote and not Gersego's castle is I can ransom off prisoners here without having to travel anywhere. A courier with a ransom off for freedom of back? Yep. Except I got uh, two million. 
So 4,000 for back? Yeah, so no problem. You can also see my vassals ganking enemy armies around here, which is cool. Alright, let's take a look at geopolitics for a moment. So, Western Empire is also at war with the Northern Empire, and we're about evenly matched. So they're going to have a real hard time keeping up with the fight. Northern Empire is like twice their size. Um, Kuzate doesn't really matter because they're in, probably we're not going to go to war with one another for a long time. Uh, Batania and Sturgia are duking it out. And it looks like Sturgia has Batania on the ropes because Batania's total strength is real rotten. Batania's getting demolished. And then there's Azurai versus uh, Valandia. Uh, and that's not certain. I mean, Azurai is in a two-front war against uh, Valandia and Kuzate, so my money's on Azurai not having a good time, but who knows. Alright, so it looks like it, it uh, was tied. I am going to level up. I'm going to be the tiebreaker here. I'm going to level up my engineering, because it seems to me like I'm the engineer for our party, so I might as well have better engineering more than weapon skills. Kalto the Vlandians decided to make peace with Azurai. Alright. Azurai will have a little bit easier time then. I like how there was a peace offer or a, a ransom offer for Mmemnon or whatever his name was in my party, and then he immediately just escaped. It was a ruse, I think. Swap weapons before the Z starts. It's not a bad call. Maybe I'll swap now. Um, so, let's see here. Give myself the lovely War Razor. That looks interesting. And I'll take a shield. Alright, that looks about right. Pineops. Really? That's all you have? So we are cracking their catapults pretty good, but I need to crack their walls. They're like... Oh! And Jalmaris is not that far away, so that's actually pretty convenient. Not going to complain about uh, that one. Sometimes it sends me like halfway across the world and I hate it, but when it's just like up the street, that works for me. All right, their walls are getting shredded. Love it. In fact, let's keep making more siege equipment just for my engineering skill. Because I haven't even had to replace my trebuchets. I'm not planning on using the siege equipment. I'm just going to break the walls and rush like I always do. So this is... Search around Jamaris for the hideout. Okay. What is this caravan doing? They spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay, so both walls are gone. We have all trebs up. I'm gonna bank the trebs. They don't have any siege equipment now. And then we'll just rush. Uh, we're about evenly matched. How many years is am I in the game? Oh, that's a good question. I'm not even really sure. When does, uh, what year does the game start? That would be... That would help inform an answer. Well, that's a... That's a sword. I like it. Look at them sallying out. Probably because they know I don't have my giant red fire and they're not afraid of me. This feels wrong. It feels real different. There goes my range. 
All right, let's push in. They don't really have anyone defending this joke. Y'all are screwed. The best hope was holding the choke point, keeping us out, but we own it now. Also, this was a situation where I absolutely could have just had to run by a... Oh, well. Oh, here comes the crossbow, though. I will feel better in narrow places, you're right about that. Let's see how the other... Alright, it's looking good over there. There is a wave of reinforcements, which is going to be a problem. But they look like they're mostly farmers. So they're going to die quick. Uh, it looks like the morale is wavering. You have guys like this fleeing. So pretty soon, I suspect, there will be a mass route. Oh, Kagan, thank you for the gift of up. So they have a lot more men on the field, because they just had more... Oh, God. I probably don't want to be here by my lonesome at, like, a quarter health. But am I leaving? No. Not yet. <laughs> Let's avoid getting shot by like a hundred archers. Now, shield up. Okay. I gotta stay out of this fight now. I'm too wounded. I'm gonna be over here. Quit throwing stuff at me. Oh, I'm down. I could- oh, I got stuck. I didn't see this stupid archery target, and I was like, jammed up on it and couldn't move. Well, that's annoying. I was wondering why I just couldn't ride anywhere. And that would explain all of it. Luckily, it was a total landslide, as you can see on the, uh, on the battle reports. Because they, like I said, they had a bunch of low-level dudes, and we had high-level dudes, so it was very one-sided. Send my troops, send some 19 Fions, and it's now ours. Everyone defending is, uh... Oh, and I'm meeting a vassal of mine for the first time. Hello! Show some mercy. Because we're supposed to be merciful. Go to the tavern district. You're devious, so nope. Choose the prisoners and everybody but the royals. And there's probably two groups of them. Yep. Alright, Rote has a pretty decent amount of money. But they only have enough money for my weapons. Which is funny. They're out of money now? I know my health is at 1%. I got knocked out that fight. So, yeah, that's a given. Health always goes down to basically zero when you're knocked out. Um, hmm. 
Is there anything for me to buy from them? Oh, no, this is discarding. That was a wrong click. Alright, let's see. Royal Cataphract Helmet? Don't want it. I don't have any spare gloves or boots. But these gloves and boots being sold here suck, so... Nope. I could donate to level up my troops, but I don't think I... Re I don't really have a lot of low-level troops. suppose I have a few, but not, not too many. Oh, surprising that that army didn't join in. For better or for worse. Um... All right, let's donate then. I'm gonna keep. No, I don't think there's anything I want to keep in this groupage. So we'll do just a big old donate. And I'm just trimming down the amount of, like, armors that I'm holding on to. Because we have pretty high quality stuff. Maybe hold on to the nicest set of boots and gloves. So that if I find new companions, they can actually have gear. 26. 26. Okay, so we'll do... There. Done. So, we got Rote. That wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a hideout near Jomaris. I'm going to want to get near Jomaris, but I probably want to jump Tynops' army, if I can, um, just to hurt them more. Uh, their total strength is actually lower than mine, which is awesome, and we have, like, a ton of people in uh, prison, which is good to see. Now I'm disorganized, so I'm probably not going to be able to catch Tynops, and I'm going to want to heal up before I fight Tynops, so that I have my captain and, and party leader bonuses applied. Emilir, uh, ideally, well actually let's, let's see with 268, it's not, not too shabby, that might be able to take a castle if they're lucky. So I'm just chasing them, mostly so that I can wait to heal. Owner of Rote. Everyone wants me to own Rote? Fine. I'll take it. Alright, the, here's the plan. The plan is to make a new clan. Um, I just need a name for the clan first. Which means... Raffle Timer. So one of you guys is going to be Fen something. And that something is going to be whoever wins the raffle. And then I'll make a new plan with probably Regbold. Because he's been the oldest uh, companion that we have in our party. Which isn't saying much, because it's like a rotating door. They finally gave me a second town? Yeah, and I'm not even keeping it, right? Oh, who leveled up? Draconia? Oh, while wow, you're pregnant. Look at you. Uh, well, given that you're pregnant, we'll give you well built. So that you weather pregnancy well, because... Yep. And, uh, Camel also leveled up. Um, so he was sword board. Hmm. I'm gonna give him powerful. Oh, he, uh, also had a focus point, I think? Yep. And I'll give him stewardship. I'm, like, totally toying with Tynops here. Uh, I'm probably healthy enough to attack now, so I'll do that. If you please. It also means that I'm gonna be sidelined this fight, like, almost entirely. Oh, uh, I need cavalry class. Uh, okay. Just because I'm too wounded to really, like, get into the thick of it. Boom! 
Bowman! Spread out! Bowman! Move! Infantry! All the men! Get moving! Cavalry! In a way! Horses! Move out! Horse Bowman! Follow me! So I have my companions follow me, and the Bowman and the Shieldmen, uh, the... Yeah, I guess the Shieldmen, wild ones, are holding the river. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have them charge. I'm not gonna hold this side of the river. I don't think they're gonna be advancing on me because I see them fleeing. Horse, horse! Get moving! So I told my infantry, uh, bow and shield to charge, and then as soon as they start engaging, I'll tell the horses to go in too. Is this a noble? Yeah, it was. I said I wouldn't get into it, but I lied. Although this is pretty low risk. Also, they just knocked out GMT, so I'm pissed about that. Alright, horses going in. They actually don't have a lot of cavalry in this army. Which is interesting. Normally the Imperials actually do sport a whole bunch of cavalry, but not this time. Plus I don't see where they are. No, I don't see any cavalry anyway. They have like two horses in the entire army. Which is probably why it was such a slow moving army, which is why I could catch them. Because they were just all on foot. Oh, shoot. I, yeah, as soon as I let that go, I was like, yeah, it's gonna hit a teammate. That's okay. I'll just pay a little reparations to the family. Unless they're wounded. If they're wounded, they just have a good story. Yeah, our, uh, our king in general knocked me out. Because he's a bad bowman. Raffle timer's up. Let's see. It's going to Stickiest. So Stickiest, you have to come up with a clan name. I'll name it Fen Stickiest, unless you come up with something different. Using the channel point redemptions. I was accurate. I mean, I will. I, I, I hit my target. Unfortunately, my target just happened to be a teammate. No one told me I was supposed to aim for the enemies. That's news to me. It's not my fault. Well, at this point, I don't even know what kind of numbers they have. Because I have just captured 27 of them? It's kind of unbelievable to me that they're just like, yeah, pay us. You want peace? Pay us 1200 It's like, you do realize you don't have people, right? I kind of... I, I saw out of that. But I'm not, in, I'm not intending to, like, form peace anytime soon. I would like to capture almost... Either all of their territory or almost all of their territory, if I can. Fen Wallace, you got it. So let's go do that now. Uh, do some promotions. It's a party member, Regbold. I'm yours. Reward? I almost did Revolt. Uh, Rote? Yes. Ben Wallace. Cool. I suppose I should have checked your gear to make sure you had the best possible gear before doing that, but I'm pretty sure I hooked you up. 
I don't think you were lacking. Jomaris is um, decently guarded. Uh, my individual va well, maybe they're wounded. No, no, their troop count sucks. So I'm actually going to disband my army so that they can refill their numbers. So it's not like a death march. And there should be a hideout near here. I was hoping to find it. Wait. Forest people? Well, alright, yeah. I'm the forest lord. It's not quite the same. Look at all of them fleeing. Wherever this hideout is, they hit it pretty well. Because I cannot for the life of me find it. Let's see. Vicinity of Jamaris? That's all it says. Maybe I'll check the west side. It might be over there. Thank you for watching Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord Lords of the Forest, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 2nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Batanians. <laughs>